Hi, um, today I'll be showing you an artwork that I've done. I'm totally not a J-Hope stan or whatever. No. <laughs> so before I go into the artwork, I'd like to talk a little bit about myself. So like DM said, I'm a second year at RMIT studying a Bachelor of Design, um, Animation Interactive Media. And I'm pursuing to be a character designer, storyboard artist, and writer. So my parents moved to Australia because my dad wanted to pursue a master in digital media in, at Sydney University. And then eventually my older brother and I were born here. Since I was a little girl, I was exposed to a variety of media through my mom's love of watching movies and shows. I was uh, primarily animated content ranging from Disney, DreamWorks, and Studio Ghibli. I think that was the moment where my love for drawing and storytelling uh, started. <laughs> I'd immerse myself in a world of these fictional stories. Bringing my sketchbook out and drawing my own characters while simultaneously drawing, um, watching and like drawing the characters within the show or movie. My sketchbook would fill up in a matter of a week as each page was a different scene in a story. I absorbed everything I watched like a sponge, which became the building blocks of my personality and interests. However, this wasn't always the best, especially from what I saw from the Australian and Western media landscape. I was confused. Why are people like me, an East Asian person, represented in weird and untruthful ways? Stereotype after stereotype. Was that how people looked at me? Am I supposed to be like that? Will people be more accepting of me if I act the way that I have been portrayed as? But I don't like being seen as an antisocial nerd that isn't conventionally attractive. From there, there was a part of me that rejected a part of myself, my heritage, my culture, and the way I looked. I pushed away the fundamental part of me so that I wouldn't be treated like the other. This affects in my pre uh, creative process. Yes, I continued to draw, but something was missing. Everything was very surface level, which isn't bad, but for me, it wasn't fulfilling and I wasn't able to create anything that I felt a connection to. A lot of time, I created work that I thought other people would like. Then one day, I came across a music video by BTS. It was for their song, Blood, Sweat and Tears. I was shocked by the creativity and artistry behind the visuals and storytelling. I used to think K-pop was just fun, silly, and eccentric music videos and songs. I went into a rabbit hole to find out that BTS had an ongoing storyline with fictional characters played by the members in the music videos. I was invested in the characters and the struggles of friendship, mental health, and growing up. I was so lost about my identity, especially after re rejecting a core part of me for many years. I was truly inspired to look deeper into my growth and journey. Everything changed after BTS uh, BTS's Love Yourself series. The trilogy of albums that were an exploration of the psyche and one uh, and oneself inspired by the analytical psychologist Carl Jung. The Jungian's philosophy stated that there are four major archetypes that make oneself. The persona, shadow, and the anima, animus. All this time, I thought I could only be one or the other to represent myself. That I had to base my identity on a person who was acceptable by the majority. I embraced my Korean Australian identity for the first time ever. With the idea of my multi layered identity, I created art that was not only a reflection of me, but works that others related and connected with. I found people like this, or people like me. From this, from this relation, revelation, sorry, I was able to get into top arts, top screens, top acts, and the teen gala with my art and animation based on my experiences. I never had to change who I was to be accepted by my community. Connecting to creative people, or in creative and inspiring people like BTS widened my view of myself and others around me. It pushed my understanding of what was possible and that I never had to confine myself for others. For this event, I drew J-Hope from BTS. Every member of BTS and other idols have many sides. I chose J-Hope because he's the kind of person that I kind of want to be. Obviously, I don't know him, but from what I've seen, he works extremely hard for his passions. He gives us all for his dance performances, lyrics, and to unite his group as a whole. I personally found people, um, people like him very inspirational. 
um, also like he gives us all for his dance performances and lyrics and it's just really lovely to see. I personally found that people saw him as a two-dimensional person who was just happy and cheery. We know this isn't true from his album Jack in the Box that released back last year in June. He too has a darker side of him that is expected to be hidden for his fans, his side of insecurity, anxiety, and worries of the future. This is some behind the scenes processes. Um, I used my iPad and used the app Procreate to draw these. Through my pieces, I intend to present his multi layered self and take him off the pedestal of being a perfect idol. I respect him as an artist, and hopefully I too can be an artist that creates meaningful work like Joe Hope and all the others of other members of BTS. Thank you.